In this mini lesson, I'd like to talk to you about finding missing vertices in a polygon. Now I have two different examples, one done with a parallelogram and one with a rectangle. And as you'll notice, the shapes are not completely filled in. Now I know that a parallelogram looks approximately like this and can be rotated in any way. So I'm thinking that my missing point is up here in this corner somewhere so that my lines would come across and approximately up at a diagonal. But I don't want to have to guess, I'd like to be precise. Likewise with the rectangle, I can be sure that this is going to come over and this is going to come up, but we want to find out where they touch. Now a rectangle is significantly easier than a parallelogram. I'm simply going to extend these lines over. I'll extend this line up. And where they cross right here is going to be my new point. And in this case, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up. That was convenient. So the newest point that cr completes that shape is 5, 5. Parallelograms more involved because of this diagonal line. And to deal with the diagonal, we're going to involve something that we've worked with for a couple days, slope. I'm going to start at this lower point because this point and this point have similarity. And I'm going to count up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 spaces. And then I'm going to count to my left, 1, 2, 3, to get to the upper point. I'm going to do the same thing over here but without drawing it out so much. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3 should be my missing corner. I'm going to go ahead and draw that in as best I can and I should have myself a nice parallelogram. That missing point of course is negative 1, 2, 3, 4 and positive 1, 2, 3, 4. So as you can see whether it's a rectangle which is more straightforward or a parallelogram where you have to involve concepts of slope, finding missing vertices in a polygon is reasonably easy.